Warning, this game is rated M for blood and gore, intense violence, and strong language. If you don't like any of this, please click off the video now, or otherwise, keep your bitching out of the comments. Thank you. You gotta go for that, Morpheus? So, oh, hello. Is that Gecko or is that. No, no Gecko was from a different kind of VR game. Is no one in this world human? Just like regular old fleshy, squishy human. Well, there goes the Prime Minister. And we're back on YouTube for another video. I'm Spark with Sparkfield Gaming, and damn does it feel good to say that. For the past... Two, for the past, I'd say, two months, I've been doing nothing but playing, editing, and recording Deep Rock Galactic with my brother and our friends. Don't get me wrong, it's a fun game. I uh, greatly enjoy it, and it really deserves to be in the top 50 of Steam games. Higher, even. In any case, today we're going to be playing Metal Gear Rising Revengeance. This is a game purchased for me by my friend Tom, aka Major Modus on YouTube, for my 22nd birthday. It, as the intro said, as well as the disclaimer, this is a very much over-the-top, violent game. If you don't like that, again, please go watch something else. But in either, in either case... Uh, thank you so much, Tom, for getting this game for me. It was very fun, and I very much enjoyed playing it. In any case, let's get into it. Whoa, 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 whoa. They're just, they're just... Oh, wait, no, I remember this. Let's begin with a quick warm-up, shall we? Check the Sunaton radar on the upper right, and head to the point marked on the display. You can jump over obstacles. But the ninja run will get you across them more quickly and easily. Okay, so... Right trigger. Oh, I li oh, 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 I like that. That's... Wasn't Ride in the character? attack while in motion with the ninja run, you know. Swinging your blade while dashing, for example, or striking your foes with a sliding attack. Whatever you say, Baron Zemo. Oh, that's cool. Oh! I wonder if this is going to be like, uh, oh, 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 oh. Oh, this is going to be so cool. I wonder if this is going to be like, uh, Star Wars The Force Unleashed for the DS where you can like, wait, no, it's... I don't know. Now then, let's run a basic I don't know what I'm talking about. Try and neutralize all the enemies that appear. String lights and strong keys together to perform oh. combinations. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> oh my gosh, that was so great. What is this game? Oh, oh my god. <laughs> Combat is not all offense, however. You also need to protect yourself. First, follow the direction of the enemy's attack. Parry those attacks by executing light attacks of your own in the same direction. This is how you parry. It is the keystone of your defense. For clarity's sake, I ended up selecting easy mode because I prefer casual, relaxing gameplay experience where I can experience the story. But in doing so, I selected a mode which automatically does the parrying direction for you. So I didn't realize that and try to do it manually for the majority of this and next episode. So, yeah. Oh, look. Language. I just want to stand here and make a human smoothie. That's all I want. What? <laughs> This is freaking insane. Draw foes in as close as possible and parry their blows to leave them exposed to counterattack. From your perspective, it will appear as if the enemy is frozen in time or at least moving very slowly. This is the perfect opportunity for you to carefully aim your strike, then slice your foe apart. Keep in mind, even you will not be able to parry every type of attack. Watch your foe's movements carefully. Okay, so I think that was coming down. Oh, I see. When I'm in blade mode, I can use the right stick to attack. Oh, this is this is going to be a fun game. So yes, this game is a tri is a departure from the traditional Metal Gear style. Not that I ever played any of Metal Gear games. The closest I ever came was attempting Snake and Smash Brawl. The years. We've come so far in just three short years. The sign of a strong leader, sir. No. The will of a strong people. And one very able advisor. Thank you, sir. Your team deserves credit as well, Mr. Lightning Bolt. Just doing our job, Mr. Prime Minister. I must admit, I once thought of groups like yours as opportunists, enablers of war. Oh, but you've going trained our new army well. Order has returned sooner than expected. Perhaps I was wrong about these private military companies. We prefer private security providers, sir. Most of Maverick's contracts do focus on security. Yes, well, the security can mean many things. There's a saying I like. One sword keeps another in the sheath. Sometimes the threat of violence alone is a deterrent. Sometimes by taking a life, others can be preserved. It's the code the samurai lived by. Hmm. A soldier and a philosopher. You are full of surprises, Mr. Lightning Bolt. I could say the same about you, Mr. Prime Minister. <clears throat> what is happening? Someone's blocking the lead vehicle. Hold on. Clear the okay. road! This is official state business! Oh, this guy. 
something or other Sam, I think that's his name. I don't know. Whoa. Oh, that was so... my god! That was unnecessary! This is gonna be so fun. And this is what happens when Hideo Kojima discovers Michael Bay. I mean, seriously, what about this does not scream Michael Bay was here? Tell me, what about what part of this? Absurd. Let's get this over with. Take out those hostiles. Oh. Right. You'll need to choose between light and heavy strikes to match the situation. Take self-repair units from your foes to replenish your own supply. Dragon, the limo is in trouble. Get back there, ASAP! I'll add the limo to your solid down radar. Okay, Boris. What the? Get some. Wait, that affects. Oh, you are so dead! Brighton, he's on the other side of that barricade. This is just unnecessary levels about. So, do they say it going in the same direction from their point of view, or same direction from my point of view? Oh, sorry about the meaty button mash. This is just too much fun, like seriously. Oh, 
Wait, isn't excessive force something to do with the Geneva Convention? Oh, he's already dead. <laughs> if you can't cut through the barricade, try the fence, eh? <laughs> oh my god! This is going to be too much fun. Get to that limo. Shut up, I'm cutting stuff. <laughs> you gotta feel for that, Morpheus? So, oh, hello. Is that Gecko or is that no, no Gecko was from a different kind of VR game? No one in this world human. Just like regular old fleshy, squishy human. Well, there goes the Prime Minister. Minister, I want him dead. Nothing personal, of course. Africa's just getting a bit too peaceful. What? Business ain't been the same since they shut down SOP. A clean break from the war economy. Huh. Well, some of us lack that economy. How's an honest warmonger supposed to make a living? I don't think that's... This is your I think answer. that's an oxymoron. <laughs> don't do it! Don't worry now. I won't. Not while he's still useful. <sighs> so long. What is with Hideo Kojima and big bulky bald guys? Get Wait, what are those? Catch okay. this missile before it blows! Use your ninja rat to deflect those shots! Use blade mode to damage its armor! Run, run button again, run button again, run button again! Woohoo! What's that? Oh, I see. Oh 
Okay, don't get why it failed. Oh, maybe I need to hold it. Gee, you think? This is entirely too much fun. I think I get it, so pressing X causes it to slice horizontally while Y. I wonder if that works in combat or just blade mode. Ooh. Something comes around. Oh, that oh, this was a poor choice of controls. Oh my god. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna definitely need to change controls. Controls if this is the case. How did that miss me? Oh yeah. Can you stop? I didn't ask you if you wanted to do this, I just fucking told you to. Like this. Radar shows which way he fled. Hurry! Shut up. I guess I'll just have to get used to this thing being a bitch. Like it always is. And mom wanted to know why I wanted a new controller for my birthday. Or Christmas. There! Get him! Oh, uh... Use your ninja van to move over obstacles automatically. Ah, the dude has more red. Hey! Do not let him out of your sight. You must catch him. This is freaking insane. I love this game so much. What? Oh. What kind of whatever? That's damn good cheek. It still works. Ow. Am I damaging it? Is this? Oh, 
Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Did you did you like your little face play? Mm -hmm. uh, I am going to die. I'm going to die. I'm going to die. What? Use yeah. to take down those hemp missiles. Use what he say? Oh. Uh, this is so excessive. But then again, it wouldn't really be Japan at the moment. Finish that bastard off! Biden, you okay, buddy? Oh, I get it. Hey, he's got the barcode tattoo. <laughs> now he's trying to be Sonic. <laughs> this is just so ridiculous. He's headed for the front of the train. After him. I'm gonna come back. Raiden, an unidentified field roader is headed your way. Keep an eye out for it. Don't they call those things ospreys here in America? In America? Oh, hello. What? Prime Minister! Huh. Too little too late, hero. I won't be needing my little shield here any longer. That is not how blood works. What about all the good things war has done for us? Right. Why don't we ever hear speeches about that? Jobs, technology, oh. a common purpose? Uh. Raiden, forget me. Stop him. I mean, he does have a good point. You ain't listening. In? <laughs> oh, oh you're saying? Give war a chance! Oof. No! I 
mean, he's not wrong. Part of why Germany surpasses America in terms of political and economic prosperity is due to their incredibly good, bad example of what not to do and what not to be, i.e. Adolf Hitler. I sometimes think more countries could use an Adolf Hitler as a good criteria of what not to do when trying to rule a country. Unfortunately for America, we have Joe Biden. Now if, we, now, if we could just use the brains we were given to figure out, oh wait, he's a half-assed, horrible president. So, yeah. Now, now. Don't be shy. No! Okay, this is gonna be... Okay, this is gonna take some... Okay, I have no idea how I'm going to do... Oh, oh, that was close. No you! Am I supposed to be able to win this fight, or is this one of those unwinnable fights? Hmm. self thought And not half bad. Still. <laughs> Your technique lacks something. Oh, I wonder. Oh, this is it, this is it, this is it. Yeah, that's a GG, no reap. Oh wait, I am supposed to lose this fight. That's how Raiden loses his eye. Which explains why there was no health bar for this guy. In the blood of your enemies, but you hold it back. No. My sword is a tool of justice. There's just so much over-the-top unnecessary violence and dramatics. I mean, I'd be disappointed given, if it was anything less given that this is Kojima we're talking, but uh, still, there's only one Michael Bay, and he's American. I think. Oh! Again, seriously, but this, this is something that happens to you, uh, like on the regs. Redden, are you all right? You're almost clear of the tunnel. Just hang on. Oh dear. Where'd the rest of the train go? What, what's happening? Did, can you not? You're, you're like, you're like, you're like, uh, you're, I don't know what you're like, actually. Can, can I please run? I, I know my dude is leaking Kool-Aid right now, but I, I, I could really stand to run. Are they just trying to drive home the point of how helpless I am right now? I... You gotta try hard on that. Oh, I see. Oh. Did you want to practice first? Gotta try hard on that. Oh. Did you want to practice first? Oh, I see. You cut. You cut the rest this of the train. This is what happens when you bring a tool to a sword fight. It's over. <laughs> Lucky devil. 
Yeah, and I'd appreciate if you would stop. Oh. Wait, no, that that's one of Armstrong's crafts, isn't it? It's just a fake, isn't it? Flares, Flares of course. Combat rank B, okay. And that has been Metal Gear Rising Revengeance Episode 1, ladies and gentlemen. Hope you did enjoy. If you did, be sure to like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you know when a new video drops. Thank you again to Tom, aka Major Modus, for getting this for my 22nd birthday. If you want to check out his YouTube channel, it's in the description below. He uh, streams a roguelite game called Darkest Dungeon. And we also have some other videos on our group channel. In any case, you will have a good rest of your day, night, whatever time of day it is when you're watching. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.